Hey guys, what's up? Um, this is a little bit of an addendum, I guess, to the computer building um, video that I did. Um, I wanted to supplement it by talking about a couple of the things that I didn't really touch on and the other ones, as well as finally show you at least a little bit of my rig and how I put it together. Um, and while I was doing that, I also decided just to show you what my setup looks like. Um, this is pretty much where I do my work. And I'm not, not just YouTube videos, like my work, period. This is it. Um, so, there's my keyboard. And yeah, yeah, I know the control pad there is there because I'm getting ready to probably do some Dark Souls or something tonight. Uh, my screen. By the way, I, might, I don't know if it's going to show up here. Ah. Ah. Yeah, yeah, I know. Update successful. I don't know if it's going to show up on the screen. Maybe I should just turn on notepad and maybe I can sh make the white there. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. That little red line is right here. It looks a little yellowish now. It's around here. Um, that's what I'm talking about. It's a thin little red line. It's driving me nuts, but I don't know what to do about it right there I, again I don't know if this is gonna show up on the camera if it does great but I mean otherwise the monitors good it's my keyboard my little desk my speaker system my tool speakers on the side I didn't set up surround sound cuz yeah yeah mini discs and yes I know it's kinda sloppy but what do you want and here we go um, that's the monster um, it's pretty big as you can see it's a full-size tower. When I first got this, I didn't realize just how big a full-size tower would be. But there you go, right? Um, when I put this thing together, I didn't just want to... I hope I have enough light here, because now I'm noticing it's getting kind of dark. Hold on, let me get a flashlight. Okay, now this should be better for you guys to see. When I first put this together, as you can see, this is exact same DVD burner that I put on the other machine that you saw me build. Like I said, it's my machine. But you may also notice there's a card reader. Um, that's because um, I work with a lot of flash drives and flash, you know, smart cards and stuff like that, memory cards. So having a drive like this was very useful to me. And I also like the fact that I have two USB 3 ports in the front as well. So this has proven pretty useful. I haven't put anything else in the front bays, but there you go. Um, I use that port a lot. As you can see, it's, there's a bit of dust. I need to clean that dust out. Shit. But that one top one, as you can see, has been used quite a bit because there isn't that much dust. Um, but I, I'll probably clean this out after I'm finished um, doing this video. Nice little door. I love the door. Um, but we're not here to see the door. We're here to see what's on. The reason why I like this particular tower it isn't just because of how cool it looks. It's also because of its functions. This is what it came with out the box before I even added that other card reader. I mean, you got your headphone jack, your mic jack, your USB, your USB 3 and HDMI out. Fan controls over here. You got a nice large fan over there which you know does a really good job of blowing out the heat. This thing has yet to overheat. I've been getting some really good temperatures out of this thing. Um, but now I'm going to show you what the insides look like. So let's get on with that. Right? Right. Okay guys, this is the inside of my machine. Um, what I use um, it's still running right now, obviously, which I will admit is not exactly the safest thing to do. But um, for our purposes right now, it's, I did not feel like, you know, turning this thing off, bringing it into the kitchen, opening it up. So, yeah, but normally if you're showing somebody your system, it's usually smarter to turn it off first. But I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I guess I take full responsibility if I fuck up. Um, first thing I want to point out is my CPU fan. Some of you might be laughing because of how huge it is. You notice the one that I showed you guys for with the other system was much smaller than this. That's the stock cooling unit. And it's good for if all you're doing is... Um, um, hold on. There. It's good for if you are, you know, you're just doing basic computing. You're not doing anything strenuous. But since I was planning on doing some heavy gaming with this and video editing and all that, I knew I wanted to keep this thing cool. So I bought this huge freaking thing. <laughs> um, I was actually planning on getting a second fan to put on the other side of that cooler because I was worried about overheating, but I needn't have worried. Um, this thing has been 
this thing has been work. Um, this thing has been a real trooper. I don't know why I'm struggling with words right now, but it's really done its job very well. Um, I have not had any um, overheating problems whatsoever. It's very quiet, as you can hear, or not hear. <laughs> um, it's you know, and it gets the job done. I, I love this thing. Um, also, you may have noticed that there is, of course, not much clutter, if at all, in here. Um, I did a really good job um, of, in my opinion, of making sure that everything is spacious and there isn't that much, you know, um, this is, this is definitely not a, na a, a rat's nest. Um, there is some cables that are coming from the back, you know, crisscrossing into there, but it does not, there is no airflow problems whatsoever. Um, I think I did a really good job of making sure to keep this as cool as possible. Um, and as, you know, as, um, sorry, make this as spacious as possible. There's, I mean, there's tons of airflow in here. No rat's nest whatsoever. Down there, I kind of wish it wasn't as cluttered, but again, that's not really going to be getting in the way of airflow. Um, you might notice I use slightly different parts for this one. Um, for one thing, I'm not using a thermal take, um, power supply on this. I'm using a, um, Antec, um, 620 which so far has worked very well for me. Apparently it was made for gamers. I, I, I don't remember exactly what the ratings were when I first looked it up, but it was a, it was a pretty good power supply, which is why I got it. Um, the video card, as you can see, remember I told you that video cards come, can come big? Yeah, that thing right underneath the, P, um, the, the, the um, CPU cooling fan, that's the um, video card I'm using. Oops, oh, sorry. I had to get up. I'm like on the floor here. I don't know how well you can see it under there. But that whole thing is the video card. I don't know if you can get, see under there. Oh, shit. I'm not, that, that, that whole big honking thing, that's the video card. Sorry for the bad camera angles here. I'm trying my best to show it to you. As you can see, the thing is huge. You may also notice that there's a wire. There's a cable connecting from that video card to the back there. This is exactly what I told you guys about how certain video cards, they, you know, the more powerful your video card, the more power it's going to need. And in this case, this one needed, uh, you know, it needs a lot. So you got a um, power cable, you know, um, going directly to the video card as well as, you know, drawing power from the motherboard as well. We got our two RAM sticks over there. If you notice, it's the exact same RAM I put on her machine. So I didn't skimp on that for her. Um, you may notice the heat sinks around. The motherboard I got for this thing is really freaking good. I, I can't remember exactly what the name of it is, it is offhand. Some of you guys who remember when I first um, told you guys about the computer I was building several months ago might already know what it is because I put up the list of all the parts that are in here. Um, but in anyway, in any case, on the video I'll put it um, right now or earlier. I should have told you what motherboard I'm using. It's also not giving me any problems. Um, it's holding up quite well, as well as, of course, the chip. I already told you guys how much I like the chip. Those are my hard drives. As you can see, I loaded them on the bottom, like I did with um, my friend's machine. You may notice that you're only seeing two drives there. Those are the two. Um, each one is worth um, a terabyte. That's a, The top one's a terabyte drive, the other one's a terabyte drive. Um, if you look very carefully, you'll see a thin little thing there. That's my solid-state drive, right over there. You can see it. It's kind of hard to see, but it's that thin little. It almost looks like, almost looks like a um, laptop hard drive, but thinner. That thin little thing. That's that's my solid state. That's what houses my win. That's what um, my Windows operating system is in there, as well as my main programs. And then the other two are storage. And I already told you what the storage is for. But yeah, I just wanted to show you the difference. Like it's not much of a difference in how I put this one together. You know, I. I was concerned about cable management, so as you can see, I tucked as much as I could in the back. Um, I really made sure the airflow was good. I made sure the um, the cables that were leading up to power. Oh yeah, that's of course my the DVD drive there, the DVD burner, as well as the um, um, flash card thing. Again, I routed the wires so that it came through the back into there and not from the front directly. You know, just again for airflow purposes. 
I do plan on adding some more fans in here sooner or later. Um, I want to add an extra fan at the top. There's one fan at the top there right now. I want to put another one up there. I mean, I, right now I know I'm not having any cooling problems, but you never know. <laughs> I, 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 I guess it's just vanity or something, but I would like to get at least one more fan in there. And one in the front, too, would be nice. Um, one thing I wanted to touch on that I didn't really touch on in the other video is that power supply. Notice how I have it oriented. I have um, the fan on the power supply pointing up from the bottom. Now, there happens to be some uh, an ongoing debate right now online on how you should orient the power supply. See, m the cases that are made like this where the power supply is on the bottom usually advocates to have the fan pointed down so that it's sucking air from the bottom vent into the power supply and then blowing out the back of the power supply to keep it cool. The problem is, I found that it doesn't really do too good a job of doing that because the vent's on the bottom. And depending on how you have your um, tower situated, like if you have this on a carpet or if the floor is not you know, cool enough, whatever, it's not really doing too good a job of sucking the air up to keep it cool anyway. Plus, the harder it's trying to suck in the air, the harder the, it's working. And the bottom of the power supply, I should have said the top because you're going to have the fan pointed down, is going to heat up more and that hot temperature is going to radiate upwards into your tower, making these fans have to work harder to keep it cool. So I prefer to have the fan pointed up. And if you noticed in the last video, I did the same thing. I had the fan pointing up because I figure you're going to have cool air blowing in here anyway because of the way you have it. You're going to have the power supply. Um, well, actually, you're going to have the back fan sucking air out and through the back. You're going to have the top fan blowing air up. So it's going to suck all the heat from the bottom straight up. So it's going to help to keep it cool. That's the way I have it oriented. I have airflow coming from the bottom and from the front going into that CPU and out the back and out the top. And I haven't had any overheating problems. And I've put this thing through its paces. I have not had a problem. So just, I know people are probably going to argue with me on that. There's still a debate on if with the, whether it's better to have the fan down or fan up. I prefer fan up. That's just me. In fact, to be perfectly honest with you, I would prefer that the power supply actually be in the top and not the bottom. Because if you have the power supply in the top, with the fan pointed down, then that means that, because the fan is built to bring air into the unit and then blow it out the back. If you have the power supply on the top, where they used to be, right? Because that, that right there where you see that fan, that's where the power supply used to be. You put the power supply up there and you have the fan pointed downwards, all the hot air that's generating down here is going to get sucked up into the power supply and blow it out. Um, in fact, that's one of the reasons why they now have a fan back here to take the place of what the power supply used to do. <laughs> You know, but I don't know. You know, it's, 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 you know, it's, everybody's got their preferences, you know, and hell, as long as you're able, no matter whether you have a down there or up there or fan pointed down, fan pointed up, if you, if you're able to keep your damn thing cool, then more power to you. You know, everybody's got their own preference, but that's the preference I have. Okay. Um, I think I've, oh yeah, one more thing. Um, just showing you, cause I talked about the importance of, um, keeping all your parts so I'm just going to show you the parts I've kept in my box just to show you that I'm not a hypocrite I didn't just say so I'm going to like now make a cut and then show you um you know the the parts that I've kept okay so here we back we are back up and at the front at my desk and now on the chair that I normally sit on we have the box this is the exact box that um um, you know, that uh, my motherboard came in and I store all the, the parts and my manuals and drivers and all that in this box because, you you know, in case I need to find it again, I know it's in here. Once again, I need to give a shout out to the guys who got me this motherboard like I did last time. I'll put their names on the screen again. I, I, I still can't thank you guys enough. I know it's been months since I've already put this thing together, but man, you guys gave me a killer motherboard. And every time I think about it, I, you know, I just, you know, mentally just thank you guys once again. So once again, I'm, thank you very much for, you know, sending this to me. I really appreciate it. So anyway, as you can see, I keep all my stuff. These CDs happen to have some different drivers and stuff in there. In fact, to be perfectly honest with you, some of these I might not need anymore. 
you let my brother um, drive. Um, I don't really need that anymore. My um, I shouldn't be sliding it like that. She's. I know I don't need this one anymore. It's like old drivers, but who knows? Old camera that I don't even use anymore. But um, you know, I, I got extra power cables. Is that? I got my manuals for. Um, that actually, th this was for um, something else. And that's that's the manual for my power supply. Uh, the other thing was for um, a program that I don't even really use anymore. These, what the hell are these for? Oh yeah, those are the freaking screws that I use for the back. I don't know why I haven't used them. Kind of dumb. <laughs> I should put them in the back. Huh. My certificate of reliability. Whatever. Um. Yeah. Hold on to your um. What you call it? Your um, operating system discs, because you never know when you need it again. These were the drivers that were given to me for it, and they were surprisingly up to date, um, which made me happy. I didn't really have to go online to get a new set. Manual for the motherboard. Damn certificate again. We don't need to see that again. This is the, you might recognize this, because again, I had the same DVD, so... I mean, the same D um, DVD burner, so I got the same DVD drivers, Microsoft stuff. And, of course, as you can see on the bottom, I got all my wires. I got my screws. I got the motherboard parts. Um, everything, the extra wires. I got extra solder drives. I got extra power cables. All the stuff that you would need um, to help to power up your system. You know, just in case something's wrong, if, I need to, oh, if I'm installing something new and I need a new cable to power it up, here we go. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys have probably guessed that the one I have is a modular one. That's why the cable is separate from the power supply. Um, so yeah, it's always good. Hold on to your stuff because you never know. You never know when you're going to need them, right? You never know. I'm not, I still don't know what the hell this is for. <laughs> um, I didn't say I knew everything. But yeah, you never know. So hold on to your stuff. Hold on to them. I think I even see in there one of my um, thermal thingies. Just, you know, make sure you hold on to your stuff and um, keep it in a place where you know where it is so that you don't got to worry about, like, you know, if something goes wrong, where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, my God. You know? So, yeah. Um, that's it. I, this, this probably was a nothing video, so you're probably thinking I wasted your freaking time doing this, and I'm sorry. Um, but... Uh, you know, I think I kept promising you guys I'd show you my computers, and that, that's what my computer looks like. That's what's in it. That's how I put it together. This, in case anybody ever cared. I remember somebody asked me what my desk was like, but that was a while back. This is it. It's a little cluttered, as you can see, but this is my desk. My keyboard, my mouse, my PS4 controller, which I play my games with. Phone, swords, my little ornamental stuff over there. I used to have a whole lot of different figures and models. I don't have much anymore. Long story of how I lost most of my shit, but that's what I got back there. That's it. This, this, this is it. This is pretty much it. A lava lamp, which I just recently turned on. This is it. This is what I face all the, every day. This is what I sit in front of. So, yeah. I'm trying to think of if there's anything else that I need to add about... Um, putting a computer together that you guys um, would need to know if you've never done it before. But I can't really think of anything right now. I think I've covered all the basics. And, and besides, to be perfectly honest, you know, like I said when I posted up the video, it wasn't that great a tutorial because it took so freaking long. And I talked too much about my preferences and just, just going to the nitty gritty. Um, but there's still enough in the video to help you on your way. And if you, if you And besides, if you feel that like my video sucked and I can understand why, there's some really excellent ones on YouTube anyway which are shorter and they get, you know, to the point on what you need to look out for. They just get, they get right into it um, on what parts you can get. You know what? I will, um, I will give you guys a couple of tips on building the last, the last few tips on building a computer. Um, one, like I, I've said this before, know what you're trying to build. Um, are you building a gaming rig? Are you building a workhorse? Are you just doing basic computing? Know what you want to do. Because once you know what you want to do, then you know what parts to look for. The next thing, next tip I can give you is an obvious one. Do your research. Find out what's the best parts you can get for what you want to do. But don't just look for the best thing. 
also look for the um the best thing you can get for the money because many times you may find that just because something may be considered the best it doesn't necessarily mean you need it um again my video card happens to be um a gtx 660 which is definitely an older card these days you know, people prefer to get like a 750 or a 760, and now they've they've gone to the 900s now. Some people are happy with their eights. My 660 can play. I'm playing. I have yet to bump into a game that I'm playing right now that I can't play at max settings. And I'm using a 660. That's an older card. That thing cost me just a little over 150 bucks at the time that I got it. You don't need to spend a whole lot of money to, and you know, it, it suits my needs. It, it, I don't need to spend a whole lot. Could I have gotten myself, you know, a 750 or 760 card? Or, you know, could I have or waited for an 800 or something? Yes, I could. Um, now the 900s are out. Maybe, um, who knows, maybe next year I might want to consider getting myself a more powerful card. But by then the prices would have gone down. It would be comparable to what I paid for the 660. And that's the point. Don't, you don't need to blow a whole lot of cash for what you need to do. First, figure out what you want to do. And then figure out how um, how you can get you know the best performance for the money. And you find and you find many times that going mid range is not a bad thing. Sometimes mid range can actually end up being bottom top tier, which is what I ended up doing when I built my machine. Um, so yeah, do your research. Make sure that you get the parts that you need for what you're trying to build. Um, don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid to price check. Don't you know, just settle for a price just because it seems to look good the minute you saw it. Check, you know, Newegg might have it for one price, but you might happen to find it at a cheaper price at Tiger Direct. Though these days I'm, no, I'm mostly noticing that Newegg is one of the better places. <laughs> Almost everything I've gotten is from Newegg these days, but, but still, you never know. Shop around anyway. Check Tiger Direct. Check Amazon. Check other places because you never know. Um, they might have cheap prices for what you're looking for. You don't need to, you know, spend a fortune on what you're doing and um yeah i guess those are the best tips okay and of course the ones i've said before work slow you know don't rush it be gentle when you put your parts together and have fun doing it it's fun for me once you realize how easy it is and how fun it is to put a computer together the way you want it to be and you realize that it's it's working the way you wanted it to work and it's doing what you want to do with parts you picked out yourself. You realize you've built this your machine. It is truly your machine. And that's what makes it great. That's why I prefer, not only am I, uh, am I saving money in the long run, the initial investment may seem to be a lot more than if you bought a pre-made system, but in the long run, you're saving money and you're getting more out of it. And, and you know, not only that, but again, it's a machine that you built yourself and, you know, it's one that's personalized to you and it's, you know, it's, you know, um, it's your rig. <laughs> that's about all I can, you know, say. Um, again, you know, I'm, I don't even sure if I'm going to upload this video because it feels like I'm just rambling and wasting your time. And I'm sorry if I am, you know, if, if, if you feel this is a waste of time, then and I apologize right now. But I, I just wanted to do that little addendum. Um, I'm, the reason why I'm showing the swords is I'm actually planning on, hopefully this Friday, I'll actually be able to get some sparring. Um, I've been so busy, I have not been able to go out and do that. But uh, my friend Nick has really been wanting me to come out to spar with him. He, he wants to record some stuff for the guild, and he also wants to know just me to get some footage for my own channel. So hopefully this Friday, I can go out and get some practice done and get some sparring videos up. But maybe also even some like um, more technique oriented videos on like why the techniques are done the way they are and why we, you know we do what we do and, and things like that. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, again, I hope this was you know somewhat enjoyable for you guys. Hopefully, uh, my next video will have a little bit more substance for you. And um, yeah, I'm gonna turn this off, drink some tea, do some last minute work, maybe play some games, and go to bed. Catch you guys later.